This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Everybody, it's Alex Bennett, and it is the Ramble, and uh, we go until midnight tonight. Oh, she finally decided to show up. Um, go until midnight tonight, Eastern Time. So you know, we're, it's short. It's five minutes after ten uh, here on the uh, left coast of the United States. So if you're somewhere in the world and you know that it's that time here, uh, congratulations, you're listening to us live. Otherwise, it's Memorex. And sit, <laughs> sitting over there is, of the course, the one and only. Huh? The one and only. The well, one I, and only. I, I don't know if that's the one and only. You, you almost didn't get in here on time. I am now called the coach. What? I'm. You could call me Coach Miller. Coach Miller. Miller. Yes, I wait, was just wait, wait, doing. Wait I was just doing the uh, circuit runs with um, our little friend, uh, and she's ready for the midnight run. To see you at wait, midnight. Wait a minute, you just, you just did... I just went through the circuit with her. We did a trial run. We yeah. did some little, like, you know, fast sprints yeah. and slow, and she's ready to do it Okay, with you. We, we have to explain this. Um, we are uh, the proud... Uh, uh, Cat fo- Foster parents. Yes, I'd like to say parent. Uh, I've been saying foster, that at work. Pa- foster parents. I've been of saying a- my cat at work. Your cat? I've been, I said that twice. I didn't mean to say it. It just kind of fell out. My cat. Your cat. My cat. Mm. Well, what happened was, is we had the, we, we made these friends just over a weekend. We didn't even know them a weekend. And before the weekend was over, we were saying we would take care of their, their cat, cat. Because for the 10 days that was, they were away. Uh, Jack Garfine and, yeah. his, and Natalia, who's his, uh, his lady. Lovely woman. The lovely woman. Ah, and she has this cat. And, and she didn't know what and to she do. she was stressed out because all the people that were supposed to watch out for the cat out. were backing out or whatever. So at first I offered to come up after work because I leave work at 3. And then somehow the conversation came, bring her over. Well, what I said was... Might be better, to, be have better to have company. better to have her come over to us. I, because to begin with, I, what a pain in the ass to go over there, what, twice a day or twice something? Twice a day. And leave her by herself. And leave her by herself. That You know, this way... Uh, she'd have some, uh, you know, now, company. Uh, now, uh, some mother breathing so, hearts. So we said, you know, why don't bring you her just over. bring her over? And I put up screens in the we windows. We made it cat ready. Yeah, we, we had to put screens in the window so she wouldn't commit kitty suicide. Right. And she came over with the litter box and the cat food and the dry pebble and the toys and the and the treats. Yeah. And uh, and the bowls. Yeah. And, uh, and so. Uh, uh, and it, you know, it. it uh, I think it was Rob said he thought maybe it was not a good idea because, uh, you know, the cat's being taken out of her own environment. But Wait I'll tell a you, minute, Rob. First of all, if you're dealing with three breathing hearts, who should be the priority? I'm sorry. No, but wait a minute. Cats Here, come second. No, but here's what happened. Here's I know what, what cat. What Rob's here, saying is what he but, said. He, he was he was right in one respect, except this cat after. A one day showed no loyalty to the former owners. <laughs> she she disappeared the first day, and I was really afraid. I thought maybe I left the door open by mistake, but ended up she was hidden behind the door to the little bathroom off our pantry, and hidden so well we didn't discover her. Yeah, and then when she discovered that we discovered her, she went behind, behind the washer. The washer thinking she was hiding there and of course I let her know I could see her and then she came out and uh, then she the, came out and, and she's been out she's totally in control she has totally taken over the house and our hearts I must say yeah she, I mean well she, she, no, is, she really is uh, she she demands however she demands attention she's, she's very such needy. a love bug oh my gosh Really? Before, before I go to bed, I'll bring her in and hold her. So they oh, oh yeah. yeah, she likes being held. <laughs> right. This cat, you know, this cat, you ever, you ever remember uh, the Warner Brothers cartoons with uh, Pepe Le Pew and the cat who accidentally gets a white stripe down her back <laughs> so he thinks she's a, another skunk and he's always hugging her and kissing her. I want to make love to you. I want to love you. you and, uh, my little love kitten. And um, the, the other cat is like, got this, you know, ah. Look on uh, its face. That's, that's how she that's is, how when, she is when you hold her. She doesn't like to be held. But you know what she did today? She came up on the bed and slept. Yes, yeah. she did. Yeah. She... So it started after she came out. 
She started by, she would come into the bedroom and, and go under the bed. That was like her security blanket. Now she's got free reign of the house, and her favorite place now is under the dining room table. For some reason, she always, we, whenever we want to find her, we go look under and the dining she room is. table. And there she is. Well, she's got, been, by standing there, she could see the kitchen, she could see the hallway. Because when she we could, finally go into the kitchen, she then comes out from underneath. She can see us. Right, right. Going. She, she can see the hallway. We're all within her vision. And then also because I, you know, the apartment that she lives in, I think is a one bedroom, isn't it? Something like that. Uh, and uh, of course, I mean, it's been, for a cat, it's large enough for a cat to roam around. And She's a, a tiny. Cat. This is like coming in the but, giant but, stadium. But the, the, for her here, the hallway has become the Indianapolis 500. It's like for doing cats. quarter mile laps. Yeah, and and, uh, and and sometimes she goes absolutely like around two o'clock in the morning. She goes loony, well, she and all of a sudden, I'm trying too. to go to sleep, and she's going back and forth. Natalia gave us this little toy that you push uh, a it button. It isn't a toy. It well, it's, a toy. it's what no. kind of light is it's it? It's a laser. It's a laser light. And she goes. She does her laps in laser. You can make her go from one end of the apartment to the other. At top-notch speed. At top-notch speed. Yeah, she but is. the thing is, here's how, how she's been trained. The minute she sees me pick up the laser, she knows what I'm doing. She's immediately looking and ready. I found it know? on the floor and wondered if she went up there and no, pushed I, it No, I think it fell. Or oh. Maybe she did. Maybe she did. Yeah. But anyway, she she as soon as you go grab it and hold it. And here's that click. She, she She's there. You don't even have to click it. You can just hold it. It's like, you know... Uh, and and uh, so and and she really loves that laser. It's been a treat. I mean, it's been a real treat. We're halfway through the stay. We have another five days. No, not and another five. Yeah, it's four. ten altogether. I think I think she they're back on Tuesday. I Tuesday think. or Wednesday. So anyway, sometime next week they're coming back. Yeah, they can't have the cat. I'm sorry. Yeah, we we're decided not, not. We're not letting them have the cat. It's ours now. Although, although I would um, I would rather prefer I would prefer to have a cat that was my cat. Well, you have to have a kitten. You know, that. It, well, what happens is, uh, I, for instance, this cat is not not really loving, you know, she doesn't like come over to you and curl well, up in your lap. first of all, she doesn't know us. I mean, she just met us no, but, five days but, ago. But at this point, a cat should probably come no, up and curl up but next she to had you. a very violent kittenhood. Yeah, and, and she was attacked by a dog. By a dog, and almost didn't survive. She was a rescue cat, and she's such a love bug. And I she, mean, and she's beautiful. And she's beautiful. She's really beautiful. She oh, she looks like she could be a calico, God. but she isn't. She has the, the markings of. Do a we calico. sound like two old people? You, you, <laughs> and we haven't with, argued with each other since the cat came into the house. Cat's been very good for us. Not one argument. Like yeah. A little te little tense, yeah. but, but the thing, there's something about this cat that drives me crazy, and and uh, she. Marjorie knows what it is. I am deathly afraid that that cat's going to jump out of the window. Oh God! So he right. won't let her sit. So I've got the. We I've have this big heater I, in front I of the. I have these window. screens uh, in and the window. And they're tight. They're and, tight. And they're and they're tight. But you know, I don't want her to suddenly because she loves looking out the window. Looking is you one know, thing. But if a bird the, goes by, she might go and try and jump at it and loosen. The, the the thing anyway it worries me when she sits on that you're a worry ward so uh, this morning i'm i'm waking up and i've got a terrible pain in my leg because somehow i'm, I'm throwing are we on the medical yet yeah. are we doing the medical yeah sure uh, okay what, we're what switching I, to the medical recap my 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 um, torn meniscus was just i mean i was in pain but anyway i wake up and i look over and the cat says watch me and jumps up on the radiator <laughs> and then starts looking out the window and i'm going don't do that but she's not even touching I the couldn't, window. but I you could. know what she was doing today that i emailed you mm. she fell asleep on the radiator and her head was like leaning over it was so funny yeah but she she um and she even calls it a radiator so I'm from it's Philadelphia. not a radiator. I'm from Philadelphia. It's it a radiator. It's a radiator. It, it, it radiates and heat. And it's Shapiro, not Shapiro. No, it it, it radiates heat. It doesn't it's a radiate radiator. Heat. Anyway, let me continue. Please. So then I go, I get up, I go, get off of there. And I tip, take her and put her on the floor because I can't go back to sleep knowing this cat is near the window. And right? she doesn't like to be picked up. And so I so the cat's down on the floor. And I'm starting to go back to sleep, and I open up my eyes, and now she's over by the other window with the air conditioner. <laughs> she jumps standing. up. Well, she likes to stand up 
on, on her it two and, feet. and look out the window yeah. again. She loves looking out the she window. She looks over the air conditioner. She's up on her two feet there. In fact, there. if you go to the Facebook page, uh, you will be able to see. Is it there? Oh, it's there. The, the picture I took, which I think is an award-winning picture of a cat looking out the window. Of course. What I'm trying to do, though, and I may do it in, soon before they get back, uh, is I have that picture of the cat sitting there looking out the window. I may shoot her again the next time she does that. Uh, and I took a picture the other day at Costco of the cart, but from my perspective, and what I want to do is take her, her and cart. put her in the cart and say, we took her to Costco. <laughs> you know, but anyway, we, it's, it's. We're having fun with her and it's been a real treat. Yeah. It really has. We're yeah. two old people with no kids. Yeah, now what's the bet? That the cat's right outside the door. Okay. Huh? Wait a minute. I'll go look. Should I go look? Sure. Why okay, not? Okay, I'm going to go look. Where's the camera? Let me see. No, they, they can see here. There uh, she is. There she is. Look at her little see, love bug. I don't know if people can see because... They can't see, but she's down there. She's, she's sitting right outside the door. I told you. And that's where she'll be at midnight. It, uh, no, she won't be there at midnight. She, you know, she, she's more, I think, in love with you than she is with me. I, I believe. Let me let me do this. I got it. I just want to move this down just a tad. Is that better? I can't tell. That's a little better. Okay. I guess. Anyway. Um, so that's our update with um, Bert. I don't Bert know. Team. I don't know. Could Bert they see? Could they see the cat when I was out the window? No. Yeah. Well, no. There's the. You can see the door, but you can't see down that you low. See the door. Uh, yeah. Well. You know, I, I I wish I could take the whole camera off of here and take it over there and you know. No. But she's right outside the door. She knows we're in here, and she she's loves. She's a love bug. Th this is the one uh, room that I don't really let her in, and the reason is the other night when I was trying to sign the show off, she was fucking up my sign off. She was on the. She keyboard. was walking across here, and walking across the keyboard, and I'm trying to go up here. And I have to like turn off the uh, the uh, encoder, and I have to bring the music down, and she's in the way, and I can't do it. <laughs> and she was completely, and finally I had to pick her up and throw, her, set her down on the floor, which she then gets, she gets pissy about that, because she doesn't like somebody uh, doing that. Telling to her, her what to do. Telling her what to do. Did exactly. she fall asleep on the keyboard? Huh? Did she sleep on the keyboard? Uh, uh, did she sleep on the keyboard? Good question. Uh, no, okay. she, no, because we I didn't have her in here long enough. Good to do any of that. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to do something to make your your just fit a little better into the frame. Let's see here. There we go. It's ten okay. seventeen. I'm just giving you an update. Yeah, but we can talk about the kitty forever. Yeah. See. Yeah. See. But the cat is really. Uh, she's a she's a sweet animal. She is. But she's uh, she's very needy, and it's all about her. And I'm, well, what I'm saying is that as a cat, uh, I like cats that maybe are a little more, how can I put it, um, touchy-feely. No, you said to me before you didn't like it because uh, she was too needy. No, 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 no. Needy is one thing. She's too needy. But if she doesn't, for instance, if you, I like cat that when you maybe lie in the bed and watching television. I used to have a cat, Charlie, who when I was watching television would come and get on the pillow next to me and then take his paw and put it around my shoulder. Mine used and to watch sit on my chest, my chest while I was yeah. watching this television. This cat hasn't once tried to get on your chest. Well, that's her. She was abused. No, but what I'm saying is she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't have that kind of... And she doesn't know us. And she either. doesn't have a big purr either. Yeah, they have to find the purr, but it's she there. She has no purr, purr, purr than any she other purr a, I've heard. She has a light purr. Yeah. You can feel it. You can feel it, but yeah. it's not like... No, if you put your ear in, you can also I'm hear I'm used it. to cats where you can hear the purr oh, across yeah. the room. Oh, yeah. You know, because I like purring because it, it, it's, soothing. it's so soothing. It is. And I was mentioning to you that the great thing about cats, are we getting to be like two cat people? We are. We're two old people with no kids and know, nothing know, else to talk about. I know you about. like dogs, and I have nothing against dogs except that you have to take them out and pick up their poop, where with at least a cat, he knows where to go, and it's no problem. And you have to pick it up anyway. Well, no, you have to just scoop it. <laughs> but anyway, the, the point I'm making is is that, that with cats, they make the house more comfortable. So be do dogs. No, because of their, 
because of their presence and the way in and which dogs don't dog, the way dog, they just curdle up in a little ball dog, and, dogs, in front of your feet dogs don't have the same fluidity yes that a they cat do does. you just don't like dogs no it's not that i don't like dogs it's just dogs are not don't have the same fluidity as cats they do it's just it's, different it doesn't make sense does it it's different yeah. I think we should turn on. No, we're not going to turn. We're not. What? What? You want to go to sleep? Is that what this is all about? I've been up since four. Oh, really? Yes. Oh well, it's too bad. You'll stay up a little longer. It's Starbucks at five thirty. Yeah. Five twenty-five. Starbucks at five thirty. In the office at six ten. Yeah. 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 And there I sat. It was so hot out today. It it was hot today. I mean, we have had. I've had the the air conditioners on in here, and it's a little, little warm. Not bad, but a little warm. It's a little weak. Well, it's it's well. I don't know if it's weak or it's just five thousand BTU, and that's not a lot. That's what I'm saying. That's weak. And I'd get more, but then I don't want to, you know, have everything, all the lights go out here. <laughs> but I, I'm going to ask our guy how many, you know, because I put the other air conditioner on another circuit, so this one is not running in tandem with that one on the same circuit. But it's running so, with the guest so room. So could I go out? No, I'm not using the guest room though. But if I went and got, uh, say, a uh, Oh, an 8,000. Would that draw I don't know, but you can run the guest room and this at the same time now. Mm Mm-hmm. So like when Paula Uh, comes. I know. I Well, I would rather not try it. Okay. I would rather not try it. Uh, It's not going to be hard. If we're going to try it, let's do it during the day when I can call the super to go down. All right. We'll try it before she comes. It's coming next Friday, so you have a week. I I don't want to deal with it. Alex. I don't want to... it, it, can we argue about this off the air? This has nothing to do with the people, uh, the fine folks out there who are watching this program, or the one or two people that are watching this program. <laughs> uh, why am I doing this? You know, there's a saying that if you keep doing the same thing and you get the same result over and over again, and you keep doing it knowing you're going to get the same result, that is the definition of insanity. Right. I think. This is, the GabNet has been the definition of, uh, of insanity for me. For you. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I wonder how hot it is right now. It's in the 80s. It's in, I think it's more than that. Or well, it's, it's, yesterday, yesterday today, today with the, with the heat index, it was over 100. Let's see. Well, yeah. Uh, it's 86 right now. It's hot. And it's, it's like 11 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, it's going to go down to 80. No, it's a cold front. Um, uh, oh, excuse me, tomorrow it's going to go to 90, that's it. And then mo- Sunday it's 80, and Monday it's going to be 86, and be 81, so we, we, it's going to start cooling off a little bit. We won't have to have the air conditioning on. <laughs> right. Much. We've had it on continually. <laughs> well, it's, it's I can just see Con Ed sitting down there at the uh, main offices going, ka-ching, ka-ching. ka-ching. <laughs> you know, if, when it's really hot weather, the city somehow should give us a, a rebate or something. Or they should pay part of the bill. Or like when the when the city and, and and it goes brown like a brownout, not totally blackout, but a brownout. Well, they We're, come really close many times. Oh, many times. Yeah, many times. But all uh, right. Anyway, so uh, uh, do you want to bring the cat in and just show people the yes. cat? Yes. Hold on. Uh, I'll watch come this. Come up, bring it over here. Well, no. Well, you could. Yeah, you could bring it over she's here. She's not gonna like it. She, she's gonna hate it, actually. Uh, let me see here. Let me. Um, uh, let me uh, uh, cut over to my camera. Oh, she's not, she, oh, she's not there. You well, you're going to go find her now? Oh, there she is. She, she was nearby. Anyway, in case you people didn't see the cat. Uh, oh, she hates it. She hates it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. She just absolutely hates it. Okay, okay. We, we love you. Okay. Uh, okay, take her out and okay. put her outside. Okay, because I don't want her t- turning my whole show off <laughs> or whatever. Okay, so anyway, so uh, you're 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 uh, you're back again. She's there. a love bug. I just have fallen in love with this little kitty cat. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, how, uh, she she has a she's, she's sweet. She's, she's sweet. sweet. But she's conniving, too. She really wants oh, yeah. all the attention. Oh, yeah. And she calls the shots. You know, I've had cats, when, when I've had like a couple of cats, they have their own little world, and they go off, and they play with each other, and they have things to do and stuff to do. 
this cat has only one purpose in life, and that's to make you pay attention to it. Well, her. that's her. It's all about her. We always go. If we don't see her for five minutes, we go, where's the cat? We get worried. You know. One time I thought I left. I let her out the front door, and I was really worried. I couldn't find her. Yeah. Uh, and yesterday she had a big day because uh, she got exhausted. Oh, tell what happened to the cleaning Because they found lady. a fly. <laughs> found the, the she saw a fly, and she went, uh, what? <laughs> tell the cleaning lady. What about the cleaning With the... Uh, Oh, with the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> well, the vacuum cleaner, as you may know, ladies and gentlemen, is the natural enemy of the cat. And a dog. And a dog. And I don't think it's because of the noise. A lot of it's the noise th and the no, vibration. No, uh, no, I think there's a high-pitched sound associated with the vacuum cleaner. And that's the part that really gets them. But she turned it on. I mean, all the time she was running around the, the cleaning woman couldn't clean the place because the cat was always getting cat in the way. Cat was around her ankles. She yeah. wouldn't leave. She fell in love with her. Yeah, because she smelled cat on her. Well, she has two cats at home. And she has a serval. She's a big cat. I mean, she, so she probably smelled cat. But anyway, so then all of a sudden, it's time that we have to use the vacuum cleaner. And she turns the vacuum cleaner on. And the cat is like... She and then I went it. over and I just touched the cat to say that's okay, and she jumped like <laughs> like straight, straight up, up. <laughs> straight up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, she went uh, into another room. She didn't really hide as much as she just went, went away. She kept her distance. Yeah. From, you know, I used to have cat a cat that so hated the vacuum cleaner <laughs> that whenever it went on, of course, she would go running and wouldn't be anywhere near the vacuum cleaner. But then if I turned it off and left the vacuum cleaner, say, in the middle of the, of, the, of the room, she would go over to the vacuum cleaner and start hitting it with her paw. <laughs> she, first she'd start with a tap, tap, and then she'd go, whap, whap, <laughs> like she was going to kill the vacuum cleaner. Kill Bill. So, anyway. Okay. You really want to rush no, me into it's, this. It's, it's Maybe tough. I don't want to talk to anybody. Well, by the tonight. time you get it going, it's going to be Maybe another, I don't want to talk to anybody. It's going to be people. another few minutes. It's going to be another few minutes? And you didn't turn that on, sir. Oh, really? Yes. Am I supposed to turn yes. it on? We're on air. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Okay. The ah, light just went on. There we go. Okay. Now we're legit. Yeah, now you're coming over here, oh, are you? Uh, oops, 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 that's the wrong, uh, wrong thing. We don't want that. We want this. Yes. There we go. Now, if you you have to move over a little bit so that we can uh, uh, we can see you. And now I have to turn on the uh, the, uh, the Skype, huh? I have to turn on Skype so that people can uh, let me see here. Let me. Uh, I'm I'm drinking tea now. You know, not coffee. You told me it still uh, has caffeine in it. Huh? It has caffeine. Well, not not the not the same amount. But some have more. Huh? Some have more. Some teas. Do have more caffeine? It depends on the Well, time. I don't know. It, all I know is I can go to sleep at night. Well, then it's, you know, it's so, okay. so it's working. Yeah. So it's working. Anyway, so it's time for people to call, call our, in. our program. We, the, uh, uh, the, uh, it's GabNet Live is the, uh, is the GabNet ID, G-A-B-N-E-T-L-I-V-E. Oh, so you can also phone the program. Listen, you can find out all this information <laughs> by going over to GabNet.net, and it has all the things. And if you want to use your Skype, just open up your Skype and then go over to gabnet.net and click on the call uh, thing down where the uh, where the Skype logo and stuff is. And uh, if you hit call, it should dial us right up and we'll uh, be able to talk to you. Great. So now we're just waiting for people to start calling, calling us. Calling in. Uh, but they never listen to the first half hour of the program. That's why I never go to the phones at this point. It's because they, they don't listen to us. They don't give a shit what goes on during the first <laughs> half hour of the show. And I know that for a fact because, oh, wait a minute, we have a lot of people watching on the TV. Well, I guess because they want, maybe we should bring the cat back. Maybe the cat is a Was big, the uh, cat? big, uh, big ratings getter. Where yeah. are the numbers? No, they're just, just, <laughs> just, just be quiet. Don't, but, don't tell everybody that there's only one person watching. But, but, but then you go over and you try to see how many people are listening on the audio. Is that where it says 19 up huh? there? Uh, yeah, but that that's not necessarily it because after I sign it off at night, there are like three, 400 people who listen well, during the night. Right, so, they, I listen so, during the next day. Yeah, so, you know. 
It's uh, it's you know, got a lot of people, or they're listening. So is it a fill free night? No, last night was a fill free night. So where's fill free? T- tonight, tonight's a filthy night. Fill free, fill please fill free to call. A fill free show. To call. Anyway, oh, wait a minute. I see. What? Wait a minute. Why is Scott Boddicker there? And I didn't, I didn't pick up the phone. What was, was Scott? Were you trying to call us? Because if you were, no, I guess you weren't. Um, let me see here. There we go. Okay. Uh, so uh, give us a call. You see, nobody wants to call me. Nobody wants to talk to us. This is just, uh, you know, if you don't stop, uh, start uh, calling us, uh, we're going to make out. <laughs> and there's nothing uglier than two old people, people. Uh, making <laughs> out, you know. But let yourself get the whole picture. Well, here. you're always, like, pushing me away. I'm not pushing you away, How's but this? I have to somehow get over How's here this? occasionally to get. Do you want to sit here? No, I don't want to sit on your lap. No, in this seat. See if you can get the cat to sit on your lap. No, I'm not opening the door. Boy, that cat really doesn't like to be held, does she? What? what she what, slept what, what, on the bed is? today. Oh no! Uh, nobody she slept on the bed today. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, you saw. Yeah, tonight. Oh, here we go. Uh, Phil Meyer is is, okay, is, Phil. is is coming online. See, right. it's ten thirty, and now people come online. They don't give a shit what goes on during the first half hour of this show. I'm, I may shorten the show to an hour and a half That's just for a that idea. reason. That way, I could take a, a. I can go to bed early. Well, no, we'll we'll start it at ten thirty. No. See, hello, Thank Phil. You. Hey, how you doing? How are you doing? Do you listen to oh. the first half hour? Yes, I did. Did you? Uh, well, cat talk, uh, <laughs> stealing the cat. So it's like walk, in the background. Cat, it's background. Costco cat. No, no, no. I, I was sitting listening. I was doing mm-hmm. something. You know, I had two oh. windows open mm-hmm. on the computer, and okay. uh, I, I was listening. I wasn't watching. I was listening, though. Okay. Yeah. There's Phil, by the way. Uh, I forgot to put your picture up, and uh, they said yeah. they couldn't see you. There we go. Uh, I, I want to have a Phil a buster. I listened to last night's show. A Phil, a buster, and I, 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 I got a, I got a bone to pick with Alter Boy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Who's Alter Boy? wait a minute, Alter Boy. Who's Alter Boy? Uh, your your buddy Scott. Ah. S- Scott. Yeah. Why? Well, uh, he he was so proud that it was a Phil free night. Yeah. Uh, uh, he and he was he was uh, about uh, ready not to get on because I insulted his god Jimmy Gar- uh, Jimmy Carter. Uh, and uh, so, uh, I, the I don't bottom know, line why, is, why is he not in sync tonight? I think when the other people call, everybody gets into sync all of a sudden. Oh, your, your, well, your, your, your I, lips, I took a shower, I don't usually use the sync. Your, 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 your lips are not moving to your sound, but uh, oh, well, okay, good. well, good. I'm ready for the filibuster. It doesn't, it doesn't matter anyway. So, so continue. continue. So uh, anyway, he says uh, that I insulted Jimmy Carter, that I uh, uh, said some disparaging things. All I said was that they wheeled him in for a photo opportunity. That's not and true. And I looked at a number of videos uh, of, that they did on Jimmy Carter in the uh, Habitat for Humanity. Mm-hmm. And he was holding the hammer uh, in the middle of the hammer. He was holding the nail with, with his fingers and driving in one nail. Then the nail that he drove in was in the center of a piece of plywood. You know, it you, was no, no, I think what, no, I think what ups, upset Scott, and it, and it upset me too, is that you're talking about somebody who is maybe one of the most decent people in the world. Yes. Okay? What does that have, well, no, 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 but you're trying, wait, you're wait, trying. Wait, wait a minute, let me finish. Him as let a photo me finish. Opportunity. Let me finish. <laughs> right. what, what, you're, what you're saying and what you're doing is you're besmirching somebody who, quite frankly, is unbesmirchable, okay? You know, that's not true. If, if uh, you know, if you have no problem besmirching uh, Bush, besmirching Trump, uh, besmirching one that you don't agree with. Rob. Now, no. I didn't say one negative thing about Jimmy Carter. All I yes. said was that Habitat for Humanity was using... Jimmy Carter's presence there, and, you know, yes. and, and yes. no, absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. And and nothing the reason they're that. using it is because he has allowed himself to be used in that respect. Okay, I happen to have done five jobs over the last three years for Habitat for Humanity. Okay, and I can tell you that there wasn't one volunteer. All mm-hmm. it, there was a number of different little press things that go on, mm-hmm. and, uh, and mm-hmm. you know, and there's nothing. Let me wrong ask you a question, Phil. Looking. They're building let, homes. Let me ask you a question, income. Phil. Would your yeah. would us going out and publicizing that Phil Meyer 
was helping with Habitat for the Humanities help Habitat for the Humanities a great deal, or would it would Jimmy Carter and people saying Jimmy Carter's doing? I didn't know Habitat for the Humanities even existed until Jimmy Carter put his name on it. You well, know, so uh, there was that value. Well, I'm sure he's been a great value to Habitat for Humanities. Habitat builds homes for lower income and puts them into home ownership, and there's nothing wrong with what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. And it, except, except, what except, I except for that substandard carpeting that's been installed recently. <laughs> Yes, that comes from Phil's store. Yeah, I, I sell them the carpet, but they buy the land. That's the leftover. That's leftover. Yeah. And uh, actually, I, I upgraded the uh, style and, and quality of carpet that they're using. But yeah. uh, what I said about Jimmy Carter, there was nothing negative. All I said was, is that there he may they make it seem like he's out there building houses. He's there. He's helping because he's they're using. Uh, he, his he, believe it or not, <laughs> believe it or not, he, he does, did he when does. he was when he was younger, and that means like well, 10, 15, wait, hold on a second, ten or fifteen he was years ago, when he first started doing it, he was right. out there literally hammering, building, doing, do, doing all the stuff. Now he does it because he wants his presence still to be there, and I so don't think there's anything did, wrong with that. Is, and you and should say is. you should say I what a like wonderful to. thing of him to do, and yes. what a wonderful human being he is. I didn't besmirch the fact that he's a Besmirch. wonderful human Besmirch being, but what I did say, and Besmirch. I didn't even say that he was a lousy president, you did. But, you know, what I did say was that they wheel him out there, and they have him hammer in a nail, and they get a oh! opportunity. Wait a minute, and wait a minute, wait a minute. Exactly my, my I'm something. saying good night. Good night. You, you, All you, right, you ready she, for a filibuster, uh, Mike? <laughs> yes, I am, Phil. I'm ready for it. All I'm right. Ready. Oh, up here. Right. So, so uh, good night, dear. Is the cat still out there? No. Oh, okay. Bye. Uh, anyway, I always have to know where the cat is. Uh, anyway, uh, so, so uh, Mike we, wanted to put up his dukes. Yeah. Yes, Mike. Okay. Oh, hello, so you're uh, saying that Jeff. Carter's up there for just because, quote, to use his name. Well, big whoop de doo. If the man can do it at his age, get out there and hammer a damn nail. Right. My but golly. I, why don't you get off your ass and do something, do I something do. like that? Yeah, yeah, do. yeah, you put in three substandard rugs and three Habitat no, for no, Humanity no, no, homes. I've done, I've done five developments uh, with all the houses, some of them 40 houses. And, Are they uh, falling apart probably by now? Yeah, really. So uh, anyway... <laughs> What the uh, you know what the thing is is I didn't say that he at one time didn't help didn't swing a hammer but at 92 years old they wheel him in for a photo opportunity. No, they don't wheel him in. He walks Let, by himself. He yeah. wheels by by okay. walks and by now, himself. Can you Phil, say? Wait, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second, Phil. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> Number one, they don't wheel him in because every Sunday he goes over to that that Baptist church where he teaches Sunday school and he walks in the front door. That's a figure of speech. Uh, oh, okay. So the guy's you know, no, no, but all you're doing, all you're something. doing, all you're doing is trying to besmirch him. I don't care no, what you say. How many I, here I, vote for besmirchment? That's phony. Huh? Now let, let me let me okay, just. Okay, so what's what's Trump gonna do? They well, take off his toupee and gonna well, sit there and have nails? Bullshit. I, I understand. Jeff wants to say something, but let me just say one observation. Uh, they they have uh, uh, Carter hammering in a nail. Well, I can tell you that they don't hammer nails anymore. They use uh, air guns uh, that uh, you know, so that they can shoot you know, the nail. You, uh, what, are you, what are you attempting to do by bringing all this up? Are you? What I'm are you trying to demean? To you. Either, either you're trying to demean Carter, or if you're uh, not, if you, as you uh, say, uh, you're not trying to demean Carter, then you're demeaning Habitat for the Humanities, which is one of the I'm really. You, it was nothing more than a photo opportunity. Having a no, but, but, is, uh, but why did you need? They, why did you need to bring it? No, but why did you need to bring it up? Because you you want to put down this wonderful old man. Yes, Ro Rob. Rob, it's Rob's he, turn. He brings it up because it's it's a it's a tactic to defer away from the end of an administration that we're seeing go on right now. <laughs> yeah, we stay, we mean, stay buff. Uh, doesn't uh, have to uh, talk uh, about as Brian all would that's say, going oh, on. The ass. <laughs> the state of a marshmallow man. Uh, Jeff wants to say something. Yeah, yeah I Jeff. was a member of this uh, humanity thing. I built two houses mm -hmm. uh, with lots of other people, and it was a very useful 
thing. Yeah. And uh, the people who uh, got the house built live in it now, and they still live in it, and uh, it worked out great. Hey, let me ask you this question. Uh, did you use a hammer and nail at any point? I sure did. See? So they do use hammers and nails. See? What are you talking about, <laughs> Phil? You're what I'm saying is they're using contractors and, uh, you know, the the ones that Phil, are out Phil, there don't building you, don't you houses, understand? Not, don't you understand what a shitty anymore. human being you're looking like right now? Yeah, well, all I know is... But I, you're, I, only, I, you're only emulating your hero, Trump, so why well, not? Thank you. you know, hello, we just stay for that. Hello. <laughs> Steve, uh, Marshall, man. hello to Jason and hey, hello also in Hawaii uh, to our old friend uh, James Lee. Yeah, how you doing? How you doing, gentlemen? Yeah. Uh, hello, uh, 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 you know, I mean, I just I just think that uh, when it comes to Jimmy Carter, you know, there's certain people in this world that, you know, you, you just nobody hates, you know, and I don't it's, know. I hate them. I just said that. Uh, uh, and now we that heard what you said. You don't have to repeat it again because every time you repeat it, it sounds just as bad as the first time you said it. And uh, not. So they roll them out for photo opportunities instead of yeah, wheeling. That's, that's what we're going to do with Trump. We're wheel them out the uh, front door of the White House. Yeah. Down the stairs. Listen, stop, to stop this now, Phil, or I'll talk more about the cat. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, no more. Please, do. Please do. Do you own a pet, Jason? Yes, of course you do. You've got the look at that. You've got the cat tree there. You can have it if you want it. Hey, listen. You guys are going to be proud of the Jew today. You're going to be. What do you do? You're going to be proud of me. So I'm trying to do use the dishwasher, and all of a sudden the lights won't light up. When I hit the buttons, the lights won't light up. They won't go. I'm trying. The thing is dead as a doornail. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now we're right. calling up a KitchenAid repair places. How fast can you come out here to fix it? Oh, it's going to cost $139 just to have somebody come out and look at it. And while my wife is, uh, is, is trying to find somebody who will do it and they won't come out till Monday, uh, I go online and it says push these buttons in succession uh, to reset it. And then I went and looked at mine and it didn't have those buttons, so I couldn't do that. So I looked at something else and it said, Unplug it from the wall for a minute and then plug it back in. And if you don't have a, don't know where the plug is, go to your you know switch in your fuse box and flip the switch for it, and then uh, you know a minute later turn it back on. So I don't know. I, I went and I flipped one off and that didn't turn it off. Uh, and then I turned another one off and then I I turned it back on and I went over and I touched the washer, uh, the dishwasher, and it was working. I yeah, I, I, You're an electrical engineer. Yay! I saved us $139 for some guy to come over and act like he was Einstein and say, oh, well, I've just reset it for you. You, know? you want to That's go the Habitat for Humanity and start building houses with that kind of skill. Yeah, well, well I mean, I'm, I'm a Jew. I'm not <laughs> supposed to have that yet, kind of skill. Bill. But I... I, See, but that just goes to show your Jewness. You were too cheap to hire somebody to do it for oh, you. Oh, shut up, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with things like that, it's not a matter of cheap. I, I figured it out. <laughs> Give me that credit. Yes, uh, Will. Uh, excuse me, not Will. What am I saying? James Lee. Out here in Country Hilo, if you call for Sears service, you're lucky you're on the calendar for two to three weeks when they come out to the Outer Islands. Oh, really? You're lucky. And the house calls at least 180. I was That's why we all, wow. have, we all have our appliances with the full warranties. We pay extra because most of your continental U.S. appliances, whether it's a dishwasher, refrigerator, stoves, they're not engineered to work out in the jungle with our high humidity, acid rain, uh, salty air. Well, you make, no like, you make it sound Paradise. like you make it sound like you must be part of the Chamber of Commerce because you make it so wonderful to live there. James, well, do you have that's, the locusts that's how we keep people plague? employed. <laughs> what about the locusts and the plague, James? Well, that's even that's even, that's a that's also part because usually you got to fight dead insects in the in the control panels. That's what screwed oh, them up, screwed it out. Yeah. 
But anyway, well, the slight blizzards are, are 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 moisty and they electrify the whole damn thing and it shorts out and that's a four hundred dollar control panel on your uh, washing machine. I was dryer. looking. I was looking at the prices to get, buy a new dishwasher. I, the one person I called said, it's "Well, it's a hundred and fifty bucks for them to come out." And then it looks like you might need a new power this, a new power that. It could yep. cost you upwards of three, four hundred dollars. I said we only paid right, five hundred bucks for the goddamn thing. So now I'm looking at prices of to get a new one if that's the case. And uh, all of a sudden, I, I uh, on the internet find this thing about turning it on and off, and sure enough, it reset yep. it, and it's all working now. So, well, I, you I guys tell you, in urban areas, you're lucky. You've got that advantage, especially in New York City. Well, no, I mean, you, you could have gone on the Internet and gotten the same information if you had a dishwasher went out. Yes, Jeff, did you wave your hand, Jeff? Was, uh, oh, was Jeff waving his hand? We can't see you, Jeff. you got to. I can't. Uh, oh, you um, you know what to do? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what happened Lost to Jeff? The camera. Uh, no, I, I, what I wanted to, Jeff, are you there? Maybe he was waving there his hand. There we go. Back Jeff, now. Jeff yep. move yourself away a little bit so that the light in the back isn't uh, showing up. Because what's happening is is it's lowering to your left your light. Yeah, yeah. Not too well, far. You got another one. You got another one. <laughs> yeah, I wish you had a light in front of you. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah that's, that's better. Yeah. Hey, that's okay. It's only because you got such a great beard. I want everybody to see it. <laughs> uh, 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 anyway, um, You're mute, Jeff. Uh, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so uh, I, I'm 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 the proud uh, fixer upper here at the uh, at the house. I've, well, I, I bought a uh, oven on eBay, a brand new oven. I looked at this oven; it was a double convection oven, uh, and uh, at, at Sears it was six thousand dollars. I got it for eighteen hundred dollars, delivered, uh, brand new. Uh, from someplace in Pennsylvania, they uh, delivered it to my business, and then I brought it to the house. Why, why do you need a six thousand dollar convection oven? Well, I had a, uh, you know, I needed an oven in the house, and so I looked at different ones. This was a, a pack. Uh, um, they're made in Australia uh, or New Zealand. A packle uh, uh, something. Oh uh, yeah, the yeah, with American ones. Uh, well, this is a nice oven. Yeah, listen, and, listen, Mr. Trump lover. What's wrong with American built products? Well, uh, yeah, there's also Viking. Those are nice ovens. Well, yeah. I wanted, I, well, yeah. this wasn't the stove. I had a GE. Uh, um, um, no wonder. M, uh, which was the stove top. But this is the oven, and it was a double convection oven. But I saved a, a humongous amount of money. And then when I went, uh, also Sears had a uh, dent and scratched area. Yeah. They wanted thirty five hundred dollars for the dent and. You scratch know, this is one. the most boring story I've heard in my life. But if you need it's to even buy more boring than my fixing the dishwasher. What? Yeah, but if you need to buy an appliance, that's really uh, the way to go. Oh yeah, get them on eBay because the guy come right out and fix it if it's broken. Well, it's got a warranty. A Fisher Prackle, that was the... Yeah, but you uh, know... Yeah, yeah, Fisher Prackle, yeah, yeah, you're right. Here's yeah, the thing. It. If I'm going to buy something like a dishwasher or an oven or something like that, I'm going to buy it from a store locally. And the reason is that if I need it to get fixed, I don't go have to go through all that warranty shit. I just call the place I bought it from and said it isn't working right now. Yeah, and then they tell you, call this you know, 800 With number, Amazon, they say, pack it up. And, you know, it was like when I got that TV set through uh, that was became broken through Amazon, and I had to send it back. I mean, it's a pain in the ass. Yes, Jason? So I bought, uh, it was a, a hybrid hot water heater. So it has a heat pump on it, like a it's sort of an air conditioner unit on top. But instead of, you know, it pulls heat out of the air. And so it helps lower the electric bill for the hot water tank. So I bought the extended warranty on it just because I figured, you know, there's a lot more that can go wrong with this than a regular hot water tank. And I had to have them come out once and replace the condenser on it. And then it just stopped working one day, like a year after they came out. And I called them up again. They said, because they actually use A&E, which is Sears uh, factory uh, yeah, people yeah. when I bought it from Lowe's. And uh, they said they don't have anybody in the state of Michigan who works on them anymore. <laughs> so I'm like, shit, no. I'm screwed. So, so I actually a new one. No, I uh, I actually I I was walking past it one day and I noticed a water nut on the ground or a wire nut on the ground, and I'm thinking I wonder you know I open it up and I had to disconnect all the power from it and reconnect it. The guys when they fixed it they didn't. Me personally, I take a wire nut and put it around the wires and then I tape it. 
Yeah. Well, they didn't tape it, and over time, with the vibration, the wires came loose. And so, luckily, you know, since they didn't have anybody in the state of Michigan that works on them. So, you were, you were probably proud of yourself at. on that one and <laughs> went around to everybody and said, look what I did. Yeah. Right? You know. But but, my wife, in the meantime, I had to order a new motherboard because that's the only other thing we thought could have been wrong with it. And they just sent it to us and said, just hire a plumber. They'll hook it up. Uh, well, here's what I, uh, what I don't understand uh, is you bought this thing. You got a warranty on it, right? And then they can't make do good on the warranty? I and, mean, and what I don't get is they yeah. said nobody in the state of Michigan works out. Okay, yeah. it's a hot, basically it's a hot water tank, an electric hot water tank, and it's an air conditioner unit. Jeff, did so you have your hand up? Work Jeff? They offer that warranty in Michigan. They have to find a plumber to go work on it. Hey, uh, you know, Otherwise, uh, you have some recourse. Jeff, yeah, well, in the meantime, you, I was hitting cold showers. So. Jeff, Jeff, did you have your hand up there? <laughs> yeah, I was, well... As as far as plumbers and all of that, you've got to be able to find the right guy to, to do a lot of these jobs unless you can do them yourself. Uh, many of it you can do at home. It's pretty simple. If you, I always look on YouTube, and that's the way I found a solution that's uh, pretty easy to find and pretty easy to use. So. YouTube you. Well, I mean, that's yeah. how that's uh, it wasn't YouTube, but it was uh, was uh, going to the web to find it and using Google to find it. Yes, Mike. Uh, getting back to uh, what Phil said about his stove, a friend of mine was in San Francisco one day to turn down his uh, restaurant. There was a stove sitting out there. He asked him what he going to do with it. Toss it out. It was a regular five burner stove. He says, how much do you want for it? He says, it's yours. It's free commercial grade stove for free had it checked out mm -hmm. no problems with it his wife loves that stove and they got yeah it must be a wolf yeah it, it was, was it was, wolf, it was, it was oh it's just that thing says, his wife loves it says she turns that stove on and goes woof his wife goes yeah. What is it? I'm going to set the house on fire, fire with that damn thing. The PTUs that you can get out of that. Well, Jeff, Jeff, really Jeff was just up. walking around with his uh, with his uh, portable. Well, and now he's nice, fine. Nice. There he is. Oh, there. Now you see we can see him. Yay, yeah. now, now frame yourself, oh, uh, your uh, Jeff. Frame uh, your Jeff turned to Kilroy. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it should be on. Yeah, it's on. It's the angle. It's the angle of your camera. Yeah, there we go. Ta-da. French door is fantastic. I got thrown out of one room into another. Uh, why did you, you get thrown out of the room? Well, I've got um, my sister and my cousin are here with my wife, and they're all uh, yeah, they're be getting ready to go to sleep. Oh, I see. Oh, well, that's right. Yeah. 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 You have a beautiful yeah. home there, Mr. Jeff, just by looking yeah. at those French doors behind you. Fantastic. <laughs> Out here in Country Hilo, you know, with that, we just can't have that type of architecture. I mean, you you, you make Hawaii. Do, we'd have to power wash that wall about every every fourth month. By the, by, 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 by <laughs> the, Otherwise, the green gold will take over. By and the they can take over, right? Yeah. Uh, geckos actually, are, geckos are, are fine, Mike, because they eat our bugs in the house. They, James, you know, you gotta you know have a gecko in every uh, room, uh, even when you go to Kaiser, yeah, there's geckos in the examining room. Who you know, they take care of the mosquitoes. James, you're making living in Hawaii sound like a living hell. Hell no. Listen, if I stayed in the Bay Area, Mr. Bennett, be, me being an old guy at 74, I'd have a stroke and be dead by now. Yeah. I kid you not. <laughs> but My instead, you're going to be killed. Uh, driving it's, at 80 it's... mile an hour, Highway 101, 680, 880. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Meyer out on Highway 4, all that stuff, Antioch. I'd be 101. dead. 101. I haven't driven 60 it's... miles an hour in a year. James, at 101, you, you're lucky you do 15 miles an hour, and uh, that's not in rush hour. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's bumping. Yeah, that's right. I hear the economy's really picked up, so the, yeah, it is real crowded now. That's true. When I left in 2008, 2009, you know, the economy was down, so it was pretty easy, yeah. Yeah. But, Do they have good uh, hospitals in Hawaii? Say again, uh, Mr. Jeff? Is, is, they have good hospitals in Hawaii. Medical care? Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, if you have medical issues, you, you know, you're going to have to go to Honolulu uh, okay. gonna, because uh, the Straub Clinic, the university, being on the outer island here on my big island, the total population serves 200,000, very, very, very small. Uh, we have a small hospital here in Hilo 
But for major problems, like when I had my um, hernia surgery, I had it done Kaiser. They flew me to Honolulu. When I had my MRIs and my uh, all my CAT scans, I had, they flew me to Honolulu. They don't screw around. There's Boy, a Kaiser okay. Maui. Uh, how come you don't go there? It's only 20 uh, months. Uh, yeah, Kaiser Maui, uh, it's a, they've taken over one of the state hospitals there, Kaiser, believe it or not, Mr. Meyer. But when I had my kidney stone uh, lithotripsy procedure, they flew me to Maui because that's where their, their urologists are. Yeah. Yeah. So they treated me in Maui. So they, they fly you in in the morning, you get treated, they give you the passes to, to ride the taxi cab back and forth to the airport. After oh. the surgery's done, you take the 630 flight back home to Hilo. Wow. Uh, yeah, uh, Jason, if you're going to me, chemotherapy, uh, they yeah. fly you to Honolulu for chemotherapy. And if you're that ill, they'll pay for your spouse or somebody to go with you to Honolulu for the chemotherapy. Wow. They fly you back. Wow. It, let me, but let me you stay Jason, overnight, it. then you're on your own. If you have to stay overnight, you know, it's $150 at the Pagoda Motel. See my hands up? Uh, yes, uh, uh, Jason, you had your hand up? Yeah, hey, I was just wanted to ask Jeff if you ever got the Watchmen installed yet. I did yesterday. They're advertising the crap out of that on TV now. You're what's kidding. The what, what's, what's the Watchman? What's the Watchman? Watchman is an internal device that goes in your heart. Uh -huh. uh, there's a part of the heart that's a little socket, and it plugs that socket and I then see. covers it with uh, a mesh, and then that socket no longer acts effectively. The mm -hmm. reason that you want to do that is you often get clots over there and you can get a stroke. I see. A lot of people who, you, you know, the are, alternative is you, taking, was it morphine you, to thin your blood? And, yes. Yeah, that was so, a combination. You are a, so I had it done yesterday. Yeah, it wow. was the first one that they did at uh, Yale University, which is kind of interesting. You are actually a, a miracle of modern science, if you think about it. Well, I keep the economy of Connecticut working. <laughs> Jeff, have they put a zipper in yet? Oh, yeah. Let's make it zipper. nice and easy. Just put a zipper in, and right. then they can go in and out whenever hey, they need. Better idea, Velcro. You know? my, my dad, <laughs> there you go. There you go. My dad, when he had a back surgery, they did really use a zipper on his back to zip him up instead of stitches. They basically glued a zipper on, zipped it up, and let it heal that way. I never, yeah, heard, that, I never heard, heard of that in my watchman. life. I never heard of that in my life. Oh, uh, through the groin, uh -huh. they made an incision, yeah. put a catheter in, brought over uh, through a catheter into one side of the heart, and punched a hole across the heart to the other side, mm -hmm. and there they... Uh, inserted the mesh. That was yesterday and today. You're on Gabnet. Yeah, right. That, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I know it's an amazing. Uh, well, let's that's see here. Uh, since we, you Thanks, were Obamacare, you, you weren't on last <laughs> night. Jason wasn't on. Uh, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Rob wasn't on last night. Jason wasn't on last night. Phil wasn't on last night. Jeff wasn't on last night. Neither was James. So I could ask you a question tonight that would be fresh. What do you think about OJ? I think OJ is uh, coming home, right? Yeah, he's coming home. Yeah, he was the judge innocent. Huh? <laughs> but uh, he is innocent. Uh, it's yeah. Probably, probably he's going to be high six, school. Months, six months until he pulls another bonehead move. No. Nah. He's disappearing, I think. I, 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 I think... I think uh, we're if if we hear from him, it's going to be in books or in uh, in print. Uh, I don't think you're going to see much of him on television. You know, he might grant one interview because somebody wants to pay him an ungodly amount of money for an interview mm -hmm. for an. He'll lose that. He won't month. be able to keep. So he's seventy he, years yeah. old, just like some of us. Hey, what what He'll he can do is he, 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 he can live on his on his pensions very nicely, uh, and they can't touch him. Uh, if he's right. smart, but they could take make, anything he earns from anything else. If yeah, he's although smart, they, the family has said, the family yeah. has said that they, have, at least in the last couple of days, that they have no intention of going after any of his money anymore. Really, the yeah. the Goldman said that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wow. you know what to do? 
he could get a lot of action on TV and, and so forth. Any appearances he makes, he'll do it for a dollar. If he does it for a dollar, you know, they take the dollar and he gets all the publicity. Well, he can I'm do sure. one other thing. He can, he can t uh, any money he makes, let's say he gets a million dollars to do an interview, he can say, yeah. just give that to my daughter. He'll do it to charity. Yeah, or, no, or, uh, or, or but he could say, give it to my daughter. And then they go, okay. He earned well, it. Huh? Can they... If he earn, if he's the one that they're paying, can he can he do can he uh, have her? No, I don't think they can. Uh, I'm not sure they can do that. Oh yes, they can. He can. He, yes, he, can. he can have that money go to anybody. Mm. Yeah, he got some uh, substantial insurance that that he uh, paid for, mm -hmm. and and also um, he got a lot of money from uh, the football. Game. Well, he he gets about they say anywhere between twenty and twenty five thousand uh, dollars a month uh, from his NFL pension. Uh, he oh, then has a pension. Bad. Oh, there's Brian. He's eating. What's we'll find in a moment. We'll find out what Brian's eating. Uh, uh, but uh, 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 he also has AFTRA and SAG pensions. Because he did a lot of TV, as you may remember, and he did a couple of movies, you know. So he's got that pension. So I, that could amount. He could be getting, in various pensions and welfare things and so on, he could be making like, oh, a, a, at least $600,000 a year. And if he, you know, he can live on that very nicely. Many years ago, they said that he invested $5 million in a retirement fund. Uh -huh. And uh, that, I'm sure, has grown uh, quite a bit. And they uh, can't touch that. I mean, no. They can't touch retirement funds or any pension and plans. Social Security is probably worth, uh, uh, what, about 28, 30 grand a year? Yeah, but that, that's the least of what he's going to, you know, yeah, I understand. be but, taken home. Uh, it's, you know, that's the equivalent to one month of uh, NFL retirement. So um, he could buy his own prison. Yeah, yeah he could buy his own <laughs> prison. Very good, Jeff. Yes, Jason. Hey, I was just curious if anybody saw the video of uh, the guy coming out and shooting the AT&T trucks. Mm -hmm. Yes. What's yeah, I saw that. What's this? Yes. yes. The cable service. <laughs> was, uh, yes, guy, I saw that. that was wait, a, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Will somebody tell me so I can An follow? An old-timer, this old guy, I guess he was a retired firefighter. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was pissed off that AT&T had two bucket trucks out. They were kind of blocking his driveway. I yeah. guess he asked them to move. And they said, you know, hey, we're working. We'll move as soon as we're done. And he came out. It looked like a, like a 45 Magnum started shooting at the vehicles. One guy was actually in the bucket and his truck still up in the air. You can just see him popping his head over the top a little bit just to see if the guy's shooting at him or not. The guy reloaded his gun like two or three times, you know, shooting the freaking tires How did we out got, wait, the wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. right into the engine. And, we took a real left turn here because we were talking about O.J., yeah. But we don't need to talk about O.J. anymore. That's well, before you leave O.J., did you hear about the, the new Furman tapes that are out? No. Yeah. So CNN has a... a, a the G word? Uh, yeah. Well, it, they have the, all the tapes, and they yeah. did an interview with the woman who actually created the tapes. Well, that was what, a woman who was interviewing him for a book, right? And she Correct. was writing a yeah. book about a police yeah. detective, so she was using him as the prototype for the character. Right, so she stayed under the the radar for the past twenty some years, and suddenly she's decided to come out and start talking about this stuff. And so CNN tonight at eleven o'clock Eastern is having a uh, a special that they're going to run tonight at eleven and again tomorrow night okay. about this. Well, about night, this go, so let's wave goodbye to the audience. No, go ahead. <laughs> and and uh, they played some of the excerpts, and he misogynistic. He talked about women. He talked about. I mean, he talked about Jews. He talked about you name it. So he's really he, Trump. He's really <laughs> Trump. In his he the original Trump. Fascinating wow. stuff, though. Really is. Wow. Before Brian finishes that, we got to see what it is. Okay, now Brian. Every night there's a little game we've been playing. What in the world is Brian eating? Brian, hold it up and yep, let yep. us try and guess what it is you're eating. Yep. Okay, well, wait a minute. Let me let me also for the Ooh, audience. Let, Ooh, audience, yeah, let, let me double. Oops, let me double this over here. Wait a minute, hold on a second. There, there. 
There we go. Okay, now hold it up. You have to hold it up high because the bottom strip has just the people who are here. Oh, well, that's, that's simple. Yeah. That's rigatoni or zitty. Yeah. Or some Mastacholi and cheese? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. So that's what he's eating. Is it Tony Soprano said that you got to appreciate good ziti? Yep. <laughs> that's right. And we've been joined by, uh, oh, you know something? It's full house. Damn. It's a full Damn house way. now. Yes, yeah. sir. Let me just, uh, here, I have to do a little uh, adjustments here uh, 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 in order to uh, get uh, everybody in the picture here. So let me uh, let me see what I'm going to do. Let me see how I do this. I, I bring this down here like this. Uh, I just have to uh, do a little bit of uh, work on, on, on getting everybody into place. And then if I just push the transition button, there's everybody's picture right there. Yeah, we're at the ninth hole, and Mike has his hand up. Uh, yes, Mike, Mike has his hand up. Yes, Mike. Yeah, I saw I saw that video of that, that old guy. I mean, he was bad. I mean, he was just shooting at the truck. You hear the air going out of the truck. And the poor AT&T guy is talking to 911. Yeah, this old guy. This old guy's shooting up the truck inside and outside. The guy's walking up. Boom. Walks over to the next car, boom. Walks over to the inside of the truck, pops a couple of shells in, in the truck. Yeah, you can see the guy's butt looking over like this, like, hello, I'm still here. I can stop firing at me. He's got any kind of disappeared, lowers himself in. The... That's what, funny. What, he's he's mad. Did this he's happen? mad that they're in front of their driveway. The truck's not going to move too well. It doesn't have any tires. Well, uh, Jason, yeah. where, where where did this take place? Florida. What? Florida. Right. Yeah. Hey, fingers. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good deal, Gary State. <laughs> the second state. But, you know, the guy's sitting there reloading his gun, you know, taking his time, just kind of looking over at the other guy. You going to do something about it? So, uh, so the cops come out and arrest him? Yeah, they end up coming out and arresting him. And, but, you know, one of the first things that they say is, oh, he's a retired firefighter. He's had no criminal background, you know, blah, blah, Well, blah, he blah. does now. Yeah. <laughs> he does now. You know, I always said, you know, with him reloading like that, I've always said that a, a, good, take him out. No, a good hit is better than a fast miss. So, you know. Uh, yeah, the That's guy nice was, to know uh, that a guy, who, a guy who carries a gun and was a uh, rent-a-cop or whatever you were, uh, has that attitude. It's just, I feel very <laughs> safe knowing you have that attitude. If I'm going to shoot somebody, I'm going to hit him. Yeah. He's got a good shot. That's something. Yeah. Use a 12 gauge. You got to get the bad guy. I feel not the good guy. <laughs> Play slugs. <laughs> You'll know that, Mr. Meyer. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Now, yeah. there's one other big story today, and uh, this is the one I'm sure nobody missed. Uh, <clears throat> and about somebody nobody's going to miss. Uh, Spicer. The Sean Spicer. Yeah. Uh, he got fired. Uh, he's gone. He's he's nice. uh, he didn't funny. get fired. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Let Rob say yeah. something oh. here. He didn't. He didn't get fired. No. He resigned. He no. was against the. Uh, he was against was Scamucci or whatever his name is. Scaramucci. His nickname is. His next name is. His nickname is the Mooch. Yeah. He's from Long Island. He's an Italian dude from Long Island, and uh, a Spicer and. Priebus and a bunch of uh, the White House staff were not happy about this, but he's a confidant of Trump. Uh, that is until I watched on Dubis. CNN tonight. Uh, CNN put up a clip of him disparaging Donald Trump during the campaign. So maybe he, maybe Trump hadn't seen that. So let's see if that changes. Uh, he, he, I think he said he apologized to Trump for it or something. Oh, he did. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, I five, I was five months. I was listening to an interview, uh, and they were talking about this guy, I believe it was Biggs, who uh, introduced Trump to um, uh, uh, who's uh, Bannon. Uh, so, uh, and uh, that's, you know, where they sort of came out of. And this, this guy uh, is also uh, very prominent in Trump's White House, this guy Biggs. And that's where a lot of this uh, uh, stuff came from, alt-right and... And, uh, so what does that have to, you know, because what, what, what does that Bannon have to do with and, what we're talking about? Well, what Bannon and Biggs did, it, well, it has to do with the Trump White House, was that Bannon actually made his money by selling uh, gamers 
uh, the, uh, what they would do is they would hire gamers to get the, the weapons, the guns, the little gold the medallions, and then they'd sell them to other gamers. And uh, then there was a big uprising in the online game community. Oh, like their fault. They, yeah, that they didn't like that stuff. And so what Bannon realized was is that uh, these, these young uh, disenfranchised people that do these games could be mobilized and that's how he came up with his ideas to use for Breitbart and so forth, where he uh, brought all these people into the fold. But what does this have to uh, do with Spicer? Well, it has to do with uh, Scaramucci and... Uh, what does it have to do with Scaramucci? Well, because he came out of that same group of people. I played the Dendog. This Bannon and, and, and so forth. This Bannon sounds like a loose cannon, I'm telling you. No, nah, he's a smart yeah, guy. Yes, yes, really? James. Sure. James he's Lee. a mobster. He's a mobster. James, wait, wait, hold on a second. Can I, James? You have your hand up. I, I'm going to have to say good night to you guys. Uh, yeah. It's 84 uh, percent humidity, although it's only 77 degrees out here. But we're kind of watching what's left over of Hurricane Fernanda, which is due in in a couple of days. It'll be a tropical storm, so we're kind of you know getting ready for some heavy rain. Well, that's our off. weather forecast so, from Hawaii. Gentlemen, yeah, out there. Aloha, best of luck, good health, Mr. Jeff, good health for everybody out there. Okay. We all got to keep moving. Okay. And that's, uh, <laughs> I, I, I hit the button too fast. Yeah, oh, well. A little too quick. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, now, now everybody's uh, in, uh, now I have more than enough room for everybody. Right, good. Okay, looks good. I'm just looking at the picture to make sure it's okay. Uh so anyway, where were we? Oh yes, well, let's let, let, uh, once again, Phil uh -huh. drives us off the road here from uh, uh, okay. a direct path. Uh -huh. A direct path I would like the discussion to take is that how long do you think this guy's going to last? Five months. More than the stock market. We haven't heard Five a word. Months. We haven't heard a word from Patrick tonight. Well, of course, you heard about Sean Spicer today, right, Patrick? You know what? I give more. I have more interest in what your shit looks like in the toilet than oh. that with my shit. Good for you, Patrick. Yeah, we should take a poll how long he's going to last, Alex. You know, Five I, months. I, you know, I think it's getting to a point where a lot of people in that administration are, are bailing out because, quite frankly, they can't take Trump. I mean, they can't take <laughs> his inconsistencies. <laughs> His running mm -hmm. off at the uh, not at the mouth but at the at the tweet, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I, I yes, Mike. Five months, five months on, on the new the new people that are in. Five months. Five months. Okay. Five well, months. That's gonna be I, it. He said uh, Saturday Night Live is pissed. And like I said. Well, I was like gonna I say I was gonna say what's her name out. is out of work now. You know. Uh, the woman who did him on Saturday Night Live. Right. Uh, uh, McCarthy. McCarthy. Uh, McCarthy. Yeah, uh, Melissa, McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa. Uh, I think that actually the bigger story is this whole thing going on with, uh, with Jeff Sessions. Because just yesterday, I think it was, Je uh, Trump came out and said that he was sorry he hired Sessions yeah. because oh, Sessions yeah. recused himself, himself, right? Right. So all of a sudden today... There is a leak, a leak that Sessions had some sort of conversation with with Russian uh, spies during the campaign, and he lied about it. Yeah. And so if you really think about it, does it, would it really surprise you if, if the Trump administration planted that so that they could get Spicer, so they could get Sessions out of there? And the reason they want to get Sessions out of there is because he recused himself from this whole investigation, which means he can't protect Donald. Isn't so if he gets him out, if he gets, well, yeah, and that's not happening. Yeah, well, you know, here's something, here's something that's amazing to me, though. Think about this for a second. And it hit me with this whole Spicer thing. I mean, okay, Spicer's out. He's only been in for five months, six months, something like that, right? And he's out. Uh, it shows Trump has no loyalty whatsoever, yet he demands loyalty out of the people around him. He's loyal to That's himself. True. But That's I would it. be surprised. If, I, would, I would be surprised. You're going to see, you're going to see, what's his name, Sessions have to step down. Trump's going to appoint somebody else 
who won't have to recuse himself. And then this guy can then watchdog over this because now he's starting in the he's this uh, what's his name the uh, the investigator is starting to get into Trump's financial stuff. Well, 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 Trump's uh, getting uh, really uh, antsy you, about You know, it's that. very interesting is that Trump supposedly it. has been exploring if he can give a presidential pardon to his family and even to himself. Now, <laughs> now oh, wait a minute. If, <laughs> if, 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 if in fact I that's true, yourself. all we're seeing here constantly <laughs> is him trying to avoid the Russia topic from going further. So right. that if he's fighting that hard to stop it, there must be something he knows they've got on him. You know, Absolutely. Uh, did you did you hear the, the you New think, York Times think, interview with him yesterday? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He talked about it right there. He said, "It's just having him recuse himself is unfair to the president." He called himself in the third person. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. You and, know, and, 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 well, come I, on. and I agree with I agree with Trump in that. And I'll My tell you why. God. Well, what? He, if Trump would have known, beggars. hold it. If Trump would have known that Sessions had to recuse himself because of his involvement with uh, with this, then he wouldn't have hired him in the first place. And that's exactly what Trump said. He said, you know, hey, it's very unfair that he didn't disclose this stuff because if he would have, I wouldn't have hired him. And I think he's right. Well, isn't that crazy? Is it, is that, no. Bill, you're wrong. Why is it Trump has all his legal, quote, Little cronies running around, trying to grab everything, try to hide everything. Can you tell me that Trump is the biggest goddamn liar around? Because he says that it's he's, not. He's trying to protect his rear end because he's going to get impeached and he's going to go to jail. That's it. Goodbye, Trump. Oh, and, and you got the crystal ball. Okay. No, uh, no it's, it's just facts. facts. It's fucking facts. Jack Adams. Fact. This guy. This guy is so insulated. From uh, from all these other guys, there's no way he's going down. Now there it, may be some oh other people God, in the administration, it, it, like Sessions, and Sessions. There may, may be, there may be Phil, Phil. Phil, there may be no way he's going down, but unfortunately, there's a lot of ways we're going down. That's right. And if you don't see that, the, you know the job, the president. It, that's alarming. What the president said yesterday, because the job of of the uh, of, of Jeff Sessions is not to protect the president; it's to protect this country. He shouldn't be beholden to the president. He should be beholden to the Constitution and this country <laughs> which, first, is which is what he did. I don't like the guy, but at least he recused himself. He did yeah, the right because thing because he was uh, he didn't disclose uh, he didn't disclose important facts that may have made Trump not want to pick him as AG. He didn't Look, pick. There no, been, there the even, thing, the thing. Been, the, we, he didn't fire. Comey when he hired Sessions. Oh, yeah, there forgot. was no reason to recuse himself until he went and fired Comey. So how was he going to answer that question? Clairvoyance? I thought he uh, I thought uh, uh, he recused himself before he fired Comey. No. No, after. When he when he brought in the the, the special the uh, his assistant and he recused himself at that point. Uh, when he, he uh, yeah, Robert. So how, how uh, and so that was another thing Trump said, which made no sense. If he'd have told me he was going to recuse himself, well, he didn't know. It made well, no sense. He, Trump made well, no he, sense. Yeah, but he didn't know he was going to get caught. But he didn't disclose uh, his his these meetings, and obviously it was enough. If if well, they did something he, wrong, then he should have disclosed them. He should be pissed at his family too, because how many times has Jared, his son-in-law now, has put out new forms about his holdings well yeah he's now changed there's, his holdings now suddenly well, I, I still and everybody keeps changing all of their forms all of this stuff keeps changing you, every 24 hours you, 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 none of you were here uh, most of you weren't here last night when i was quoting uh, will durst who basically said uh, if the uh, democratic uh, democrats take over congress there's no question but that they're going to uh uh, have to uh, file criminal charges against Trump. The question is, will they try him as an adult? <laughs> Perfect. Well, I, got got <laughs> I wonder if he goes to prison, he's going to take away his toupee when he goes to prison? He doesn't have a toupee. He doesn't have a toupee. Yeah. No. Unfortunately, that's the world's worst comb-over. Shit. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's his real hair. Don't you wish you had yeah, a comb over uh, like that? Another, Patrick, we could use a comb over course. like that, couldn't we? Jealous? 
<laughs> Patrick, you've been quiet. You've been. You don't like your hair. Kind of looks like Trump. You, you've been uh, quiet. Well, at least I'm sitting. Wait. I okay. Yeah, at least Mike. I got hair. Okay. okay Alex, Mike. At least oh. I got hair. Yeah. Uh, boy, but, I had hair. Oh boy. Patrick. Getting unwieldy, guys, one at a time. Patrick, you've been quiet tonight. Any anything uh, about uh, any of this with Trump? I mean, doesn't it seem a little suspicious to you that he's so hard and heavy? I'm wanting to get this Russia thing uh, out of the way, whether he does it by any means yeah. necessary, because they must have something on him. I don't know if they have something on him. I way did I have viewed him from the get-go is he doesn't want any sort of stink on him, whether it's accurate or it's not accurate. And it's kind of like, I just want it away from me, get it away, because he never really had to answer for anything um, in his life. Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of the first things that is a real challenge to him. Yeah. And his integrity, so to speak. So, yeah, I think it's a little bit odd that he's uh, trying to push it so hard, but yeah. it fits with his personality. It does. The ultimate competitor. And I think he will do anything, and I mean anything, rather than put down, rather than be embarrassed. Right, embarrassed. Even if it's not true, if the embarrassed, if, if, if that. That's exactly it, Rob. That's yep. that it. It's the embarrassment. So if I can get rid of it, whether it's true or not, I'm going to. Yep. Yeah. I, uh, I think what's really going to get him is everybody's going to find out about what his money is outside of the United States because apparently it's true that his money is in Switzerland you know, all the time. And, uh, um, a lot of countries have been able to uh, get their information out and and shown uh, publicly. And I think once we find out where his money has been going, um, I think he's going to be losing his job pretty quickly. If his money's in Switzerland, Jeff, that uh, yeah. I mean, just to declare those those accounts, that is a highly illegal. Uh, 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 thing and uh, uh, you know you, uh, these foreign accounts you can't have them anymore uh, and if you do and you don't declare them that's uh, 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 carries great fines and uh, yeah you know because well, the, is... you know but the government is able to find those accounts uh, so that he can, and, and the IRS is able to come after you if you have them hmm. yeah I wonder what the percentage would be, you know, if he gets caught with all this money out of the country, how much would the IRS would charge him, you know, uh, penalty-wise? It's, it's, it's a pretty significant fine. I don't remember what it is. But, it, it, you know, it would be significant to me. I don't know if it would be significant to him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that one of the yeah. reasons he doesn't want it, by the way, folks, I... Hello there. My picture froze again tonight on that other camera. So here I am, unfrozen, uh, uh, because I had to put another camera on there. Uh, uh, I, I see the reason he doesn't want any of this to come out is what he's most worried about is his finances are going to come out with yeah. it. And, right. and we're going to suddenly find out that he isn't quite the billionaire we thought he was. You know, and well, that, in fact, I think crying. the I think that being being president saved his business. To be honest with you, yes, Mike. I heard that somewhere. I think it was in Dubai. He has this hotel or something, the Trump Tower over there. Mm -hmm. and he's in trouble again over there. Something to do with the building over there. Something went screwball over there when he built it. Yeah. But I think for Trump, though, did he lose his money? He gained it back on some real estate deal over the years. He made his money back and forth, losing and gain because of his real estate deals over okay. the years. I think I think he I think he's lost money over the years because uh, he. Uh, um, uh, I don't think he's been that good a businessman in the last many years. I mean, look at the big flops he's had. 
I mean, to begin with, how do you how do you lose money six times? How do you lose money running a casino? I mean, I just find that a literal impossibility. Atlantic City dissolved. Everybody went bankrupt there. Everybody? You know. Are you sure yeah. everybody went I don't bankrupt? Think so. I don't think so. I, I, the I, 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 was destroyed by the hurricane. You know, there, there was all wait a minute, sorts wait a minute, of wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, Prove to me that a whole bunch of people went bankrupt in in Atlantic City. Yeah, there, there was a, uh, even uh, Merv Griffin. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I hate to tell you this, but Merv Griffin's hotel was the hotel that Trump bought. Really? Yes. I thought he sold the hotel to uh, Merv Griffin. No, I think he saw that Merv Griffin sold the hotel to him. I think Merv Griffin was dead almost by the time the Trump Mahal came out or whatever that thing was called. But, well, uh, but, no, but, Mahal, but Mahal, Phil, you make a statement like everybody in Atlantic City went <laughs> went bankrupt, and you're not naming one other person that went bankrupt beside well, Trump. I, I don't I don't go to Atlantic City. Well, and no, I don't but then gamble. don't make statements so like that if you can't back, don't make statements things. like that if you at, can't back them up, uh, Patrick. The way that a casino goes belly up is it actually an honestly run one. <laughs> <laughs> Come to your decryption. <laughs> so maybe that was the only legitimate thing Trump ever ran or the people running it yeah. run legitimately. Yeah. Okay. Exactly, Patrick. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, you said I'm just right. If if the casino's not run right, if you don't have the staff to run it correctly, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you're going to go down. If you run it right, you're going to make plenty of money. And Lag City, no. Uh, Harris has their hotel over there. A few other hotels are opened up again, uh, Phil. Hey, so, I... you know, so the, uh, the Lag City is going strong. Okay, there's a uh, uh, the, there's a thing called the Revel R E V E L that went bankrupt. Well, we never the heard of that hotel. one, so that's probably why uh, it went bankrupt. The ho House of a uh, Showboat Casino also. Oh, the showboat. Uh, the Atlantic Club Hotel Casino bankrupt. Uh, you know, so uh, there's been. Well, there's been uh, a, how, but how many? Uh, but you're not naming any major. Uh, Harris, Harris, Harris is, is still, still there. Really I mean, all, all those. Harris. Sarah's is still open. A few other the other main, main companies, like you know, are still. But, but you said uh, they all went bankrupt, and all you can name are these the, the casinos well, that looking, may have, that, at, that may have been storefront the casinos. Revel, the Revel cost two point four billion to build, oh and it closed God. after two years. Hmm. Uh, it was the shortest lived one. Trump Plaza. Uh, let's of see. Course. Uh, and the Trump uh, Taj Mahal. So there were two Trump. Properties that went bankrupt. Good Trump properties and the show. Got a theory good, on. good businessman. Great I got business a theory. Man. How stupid Trump is. How stupid? I'll tell you why. Think about it. If I was, if you had all that money, why would you build a hotel right by the fucking ocean? Well, everybody in Vegas is in the middle of the desert with no water around, and the Indians are safe up in Connecticut. He's stupid. It was well, like, that, look, let's build a gigantic thing. He got swamped bu out. Bu building a casino. He got killed by the in this day and age, building a casino <laughs> is not a sure bet like it used to be. Uh, I wouldn't build it near, Atl no, near the Atlantic Ocean. That's, that's why they've gotten more spectacular in Vegas, is because they have to compete with the Indian casinos, with Atlantic yeah. City, and all and the other places around. where it's become. That's what I said. You have to have a good theme. You have to have a gimmick. You know, yeah. something to draw people in. Not just the gambling, but, you know, if you need to bring them there, hey, you develop uh, relationships with. Yeah, you're right. Trump isn't that bright like now. Said Phil. Well, I mean, he. I think he thought that the draw was going to be the name Trump. <laughs> he might not be that bright, but he's the president, and we're not. The loser. Well, I think uh, the fact that he's president is something that eludes most of us. We don't think of him right. as our president. We think of him as your president, Phil. That's right, Phil. Scrotus. Alex, he won the Scrotus. The Scrotus. That was one of your better ones, Brian. U.S. More, more and more uh, in California, they are building more uh, Indian casinos. And Vegas is hurting. Because hurt, Indian casinos here in California is putting a bite on in Vegas. Well, no, I mean, it's, it's just that what, what used to be a business that really only happened in Nevada. It's now a business yeah. that's happening in a lot of places. 
And, uh, you know, that's a pretty pretty cool. You know, and plus, on top of that, the ones that, uh, okay, there's, there's going to be a new one mm-hmm. here not too far from me in Elk Grove, California. It's going to be a hotel and a casino down in Elk Grove, California. Wow. And you're going to build a hotel with it, which yeah. is not going to be nice. By the way, we've been joined by Tim. Hello, Tim. Good evening, everybody. Hope He's everybody's still listening, Phil, remember? What, what did you say? He was playing the role of Phil, remember? Oh, he was playing, yeah, he was playing the role of Phil last night. <laughs> I'm doing Phil's work. Was funny. I'm doing was. Phil's work for him now. Yeah. Well, thank you. I posted you. a New York Times article about uh, Merv Griffin winning the, ho- uh, the the casino from Trump. Oh, did he, uh, he won the casino from Trump? Well, he won the battle. Because uh, it was a losing proposition. All the stockholders were losing money. Boy, if we got some slap back on you. Hold on a second, Tim. Hold on. Let's... How wealthy was Merv Griffin? Oh, Merv Griffin was very wealthy. So, wealthy. so Merv bought it from Trump? Yeah, the New York Times article is on Facebook now. I didn't read the whole thing. Okay, so he bought it from Trump. I was right. Oh, Phil well. Was right. How smart was Trump? Because he went bankrupt with it. Yeah, Merv heard, Griffin I didn't. But he didn't, he didn't lose that. money. It, he got the claim went off his taxes. The stockholders lost money. <clears throat> Trump built a lot of buildings, and he always makes money. The investors lose the money. And actually, the purpose of building a casino is not to make money. It's to launder money and bilk, bilk the investors. And you, usually the principals walk away in pretty good shape. Wasn't, wasn't part of the money that he owed in taxes had something to do with the divesting of that uh, of, of, of Trump, uh, 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 the Taj Mahal going bankrupt? I seem to yeah, remember the, something. The investors took the, the hit. They took all the losses. The yeah. investors did. But there was a screwy law in the tax law back then where he could actually claim it as his loss, even though he technically didn't lose that much cash. And that's why he claimed that $900 million loss on his tax return. Oh, okay. Did he have to pay that? That $900 million? He didn't have to pay. That was He showed that as a loss. That's why he didn't pay taxes for 20 years. Yeah, that's, years. yeah that's the story. That's yeah. the one I wanted. Yeah. And, but but he didn't really suffer the loss. He, right. he pawned it off on the stockholders, and it was a, there was a bunch of real estate laws back then that let you do that. Wow. Uh, it's illegal now, but obviously uh, not back then. Not, not back in the day. Uh, 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 Jason, you've been quiet. Anything to, to jump in here and... I say back then he was probably laundering money for the Russians, and then now the Russians are laundering money for him. <laughs> the Russian mob. Yeah. Um, but it's full circle. I can hardly wait till the pea party pictures come out. That's what I'm waiting for. Uh, Does any, anybody watch the Americans? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I do. Obama economics. It, it's. Do you think it's odd that the guy, the head poncho on there for American operations, is retiring? And Kislyak is going home this summer too. Well, I, but I don't understand what the nefariousness is of a TV show doing something and imitating life. No, 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 ahead of time. No, I mean that they imitated, but it was filmed uh, nine months ahead oh, of, okay. of the actual event. So it just. It you know, coincides a lot with real life. Sometimes those true. shows aren't. Believe it or not, I used to think that those shows were filmed. Uh, you know, a, a half a year ahead of time, and then they put them on. And it it turns out that a lot of them, uh, for instance, uh, I can't remember what show I was watching, and oh, it, it was the show I watched the show Preacher, and they were doing yeah. an interview with one of the guys, and the se- new season started a couple of we- a couple of weeks ago, about four or five weeks ago, and this was about three weeks in, and the guy said, "Oh, we just wrapped the last episode." So really, they right. they don't they don't do them that far back. So it could be that what you see is a is an imitation of life. Yes, Jason. Say so, uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching this. Two good shows I've been watching: Snowfall. And, yes, uh, I was just I college. just watched it tonight. Yeah, and what's the other and one? Prince Prince from College. It's a Netflix original. No, Both pretty good. I'll tell you. I'm what, I, 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 I've been watching Black, Black Mirror. Do, do you like? Can I finish? Yeah, uh, uh, d- uh, d- you like um, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the snowfall. Snow, uh, snowfall. You yeah, like it? I thought it was pr- pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, it's got me hooked pretty good. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, guess I, a lot I, of these shows. I, I, I think there are three stories, basic storylines on the show. I think two of them work and one of them doesn't. 
Uh, but the one about the kid just becoming a drug dealer is, is terrific. You know, it's yeah. the heart of the show. You know, we have in uh, Michigan this one guy. His name is uh, his slang name is White Boy Rick. Mm-hmm. He was a kid from the '80s, and uh, he was like 17 years old, and he was popped without number how many kilos of coke. But you know, come to find out that the FBI was using him as an informant, and they basically kind of trained him to be a drug dealer. And then they stopped using him. Well, this is the lifestyle he knows now. So he kept on continuing to be a drug dealer. Mm -hmm. And then they pop him with his Coke and he's been in prison for the last 30 years. And it was, uh, you know, minimum sentences that they had back then and for minors. And they judged that to be unconstitutional. So he's actually finally getting out of prison after 32 years or 33 years, Mm -hmm. which today, if you were to have gotten popped with the same amount of Coke, you probably would have done five years. Yeah. But uh, it's a good show, and uh, and I I don't know if you're watching Preacher, but I love Preacher. Is anybody watching Preacher here? No. No, it's amazing. I heard of it. I heard of graphic novels. Yeah, it was taken from a graphic novel, and last year it was good, but this year it's really good. Uh, Had anyone ever watched this uh, Black Mirror? Yeah, uh, that that was out four years ago. I've seen a couple episodes. Three seasons. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I just started watching it. It's pretty good. Kind of like a modernized Twilight Zone. Well, the, the, there's a difference, though, between the first seasons and I think the last two that they're running. And yeah. the, that the first ones were on, uh, were on uh, Channel 4, I think, in England. So yeah. they were made to last exactly 42 minutes or 45 minutes, and then they, they ran commercials in them, so there are places for commercial breaks. In the last couple of years, Netflix bought the rights to it, and they made them directly for net for Netflix, and uh, uh, those are structured differently. They go like an hour, you know. There's no yeah, place where yeah. you find a natural place for a commercial break or whatever. So it's it's kind of a show that evolved in a different way as it went to Netflix. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some of those episodes are, you know, like they, they turn your stomach. You know, other ones are, uh, you know, you can't wait to get through. Yeah, well, but, the, also the, the 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 last two years, I think, the ones that were done for Netflix are more adult than the ones that were done for yeah. regular television over there because obviously you had, you, you, while you have a greater breadth and width of uh, of, the, of what you can say and do on uh, yeah. on uh, British television, the fact was they still had to keep it within a certain family context. You know, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, you saw a dynamic change even with the show like Damages when it came to uh, a premium channel, a satellite, uh, uh, some dish-oriented premium channel. It got, gr- it got grittier. <laughs> it got grittier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It got better. It was good to begin with, but it got even better. Well, you know, a lot of people always talk about the various networks like uh, Netflix and so on who are doing all this wonderful stuff. But what everybody really doesn't m- mention as much and is probably one of the best networks around and has picked more quality stuff is FX. FX has got some great shows on it. I mean, they did Feud. They did the O.J. Simpson thing. Uh, now they've got this this thing uh, about the drug dealing kid. Um, um, yeah, but Snowfall. Still have censorship. Uh, so. it, 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 it less and less, less and less, because uh, it, it's getting a little. They get a little raunchy with it, and certainly the blood flow is pretty pretty strong. But FX it just for some reason I think has become one of the better networks. They t- they take real chances on stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think they, they started with the shield. What'd you say, uh, uh, Jim? They've won a lot more awards than most networks except HBO. Yeah, yep, yep. And, uh, well, it, it seems as though, uh, you know, a lot of these, these networks now are getting original material, and a lot of this original material does become Emmy Award stuff. Uh, HBO, which usually always ruled the roost with HBO nominations, has about 103 this year, but Netflix has 91. So the landscape is changing. Good. Oh, it's good. It's it's good for you and me. The only thing is, what I can't stand about it is, the binge watching thing is starting to get to me. 
You know, yeah. mm. I would rather you do what they do in England, do four or six episodes a year and then leave me the fuck alone. You know, yeah. this binge I watching like thing. Binge watching. Well, girlfriend. Well, no you, one. But you don't have to binge, binge watch if you choose not to. No yeah, but, one is forcing you to yeah. do it. No one's cramming a Smith and Wesson in the base of your stall right. and saying, "Watch these twelve uh, yeah, episodes." Yeah, no, nobody's doing it to me, but there, no, but there is somebody who's pressing a a gun in my head and telling me I have to watch him. And her name is Marjorie. Okay, <laughs> because she well, goes from one binge watch to another. She's like hooked on binge watching. She's gotten so bad at it now that she's watching third rate Australian miniseries, you know, and, and I got to tell you, if anybody makes terrible television, it's the Australians. Really? Jack says, only Jack, she who must be obeyed. She who must be obeyed, exactly. So she starts watching one of these things, and I, I, I finally go into the, the, uh, the guest room, watch all my stuff, and I keep coming back to her and say, what episode are you on? Is it almost over yet? But I know as soon as she's through with that, she's going to find another stupid show to binge watch. But, hey, Alex, you never got into and the I, Now I can hardly you? wait till Monday when she hears this. Anyway, what? Uh, you never got into the colony, did you? No. No. Yeah, that was, that was good, man. I think you should. Give what it was a that about? Try. I'm I'm trying to remember now. It was. It, it's more of like a cop show. Yeah. But it's like these aliens came over and took over, but they're still using humans to enforce all of their rules. Oh, okay. Uh, so, but it's a really good show. It was on uh, uh, USA, but uh, Netflix picked it up. You know, they have the one season older. Netflix. Yeah. You, well, you know what I like that they're doing with television now is these is these anthology series. In other words, where they're going to do another feud, but it's not going to be Betty Davis and uh, and Joan Crawford. It's going to be uh, about Pablo Picasso and somebody else, or I can't remember who the who the adversaries are in that particular one. Uh, American Horror Story every year is a different story, you know. It's like True Detective too. Yeah, True Detective was that way. I like when they do that because then they don't sit there and rewarm something that they've already done once before. I just started watching this thing they, they're doing on Netflix called Ozark. To begin with, I don't know how this thing's going to sustain itself for 10 episodes. It's not bad, but how it's going to sustain itself for 10 episodes. And then if it does, they're going to want to come back and do Ozark the second season. And I don't, how far can you go with any of these things? Do them, finish them off. Six episodes can do most. You can do most of these in six episodes, and get on with your life. When's True Detective coming back? I don't think it is. I think the second version of it was so badly reviewed and accepted that I just don't think they're going to bring it back. Yeah, I'm. I well, am shows episode three point one, but it doesn't give a date. What? Yeah. It doesn't give a date on IMDb. Uh, it says episode 3.1. Usually that means they haven't renewed it yet. Yeah. They didn't put an end date on the tagline, though, so it says 2014 dash. Yeah. We were pretty far past that. Point. Yeah. Yeah. Pa Patrick. I had heard today that HBO was looking at a new series by whoever is producing um, Game of Thrones. Oh, you're, you're talking about Confederate is the yeah, name of the show. Confederate. Here's my, here's my question, because I've already heard the weenie whiny bitching about this. How is that any different? Well, well let's explain. First, before you, before, before you ask the question, we have to describe what the show is. And basically, it goes on the premise, what if the South won the Civil War? What would life be like today in America? Would we have... In the it, High Castle? Uh, well, it, 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 it's stealing from that, but it also steals from a movie that I have on my shelf here somewhere, a parody somebody did called CSA, Confederate States of America, and it used that exact premise. And I don't know how these guys are going to do this thing and not get sued all to hell by these other guys who did it originally. Well, beyond the lawsuit thing that you brought up, yeah. it's the whiny people that are saying this is going to be racist, it's going to be... Now, I haven't heard one peep from anybody who is Jewish that had an issue with Man in the High Castle. You're right. I mean, that would be a bad thing, wouldn't it? It, it certainly would be, you know. So, 
it's a fucking show and it's just an alternate reality. So I would say to all of the people that are already putting up a fight on you, aside from what you said, CSA, shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah. And throw us that. Yeah. There's uh, a word uh, for wait, that. Wait, wait, they wait. call them JWs, social justice warriors. Uh, yep. Jason has his hand up. Jason. Hey, I, I was just curious if anybody's heard of, uh, you know, the TV show, did you ever watch it, Last Man Standing? Uh, Tim yeah. Allen? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't watch it. I was aware of it. Let me put it that it, way. It was actually, it was, I loved it. I thought it was a great show. And, you know, it was funny. I like Tim Allen maybe because he's a Michigan guy. Tim, Tim Allen only it, did one picture that I ever really liked. And Don't to me, it's that. a classic. Like Santa Claus or whatever. No, 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 no. Galaxy Quest. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, the, the uh, show actually, from what I heard, was getting really good reviews or ratings, and then they canceled it. And then I see some mm. crap on uh, Facebook saying, oh, it was because the liberals out there, because he's a Republican, and they got it canceled, even though it was getting good reviews. I'm like, dude, I'm a freaking hard left wing, you know, socialist. I watched that show every single time it was on. You yeah. know, so I, I just didn't know if you watched it or if you heard anything why it was actually canceled. Well, he, he, they know they're supposed to be bringing Roseanne back. So. Yeah, I never I never saw the show, but I do know that uh, from my experience of having watched work that he does, Tim Allen's very good at what we would call family comedy. Yeah, it was it was a good family comedy, and it was like he was the Republican on there, and basically everybody else in his family except for one daughter were Democrats, and... You know, he'd make a Republican comment, and they would come back, you know, kind of smart-ass thing, and yeah. with a Democrat, you know, view back towards him, and it was good. It was like all in the family. Yeah. How, uh, ten, he had uh, a meatball and son-in-law, and he had a yeah. black neighbor. Jeff, what is, yeah. your, what, is your, what is your television viewing like, Jeff? Uh, the one thing that I always listen to is people who are... Uh, uh, fixing up old cars. <laughs> you really like that? I really like that stuff. <laughs> nah. Now, what did, I, I don't know of any fixing up old car shows, but you probably do. What are they? Well, one of them is uh, one from England, which is always interesting. There's two guys. Uh, one guy who goes out and finds a car and uh, tests it and makes sure it's good, and, and he finances and makes a deal and the other guy actually fixes it up and and they try to make it uh useful and functional and that it works again and they also sell it and try to make a profit what's the name of the show do you remember it? um i watched uh, that one too i can't remember the name uh walker uh no uh, something no. dealer we so yes, jack Wheeler Jack, dealer. because he was Wheeler dealer. Wheeler dealer. Right Wheeler dealer. into the show so they can were fix you, up were, my you, car. were you ever, like, I was into Top Gear. Were you ever into Top Gear? Um, yeah, I saw that a little bit. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I didn't get to see a lot of it, but I did see it. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah, what were you going to say, Jason? Were you going to say something? I say, ask Jack, because he always talks about, there's a show just like that where he says, right into that so they can come fix up my car so I can drive it <laughs> before I die. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, how about you, Tim? What kind of TV shows do you watch? And don't tell me Rachel Maddow and all that bullshit. Just some, something entertaining. Uh, I watch the uh, the Colony. Yeah. Des Designated Survivor. Ah, good show. Yeah. The, the Americans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I watched Tim Allen for a while. Allen. From Michigan. Yeah. I don't know why you're slapping back and nobody else is. That's weird. I've never had that problem before They're probably tapping my line how about how about you rob what shows are you watching these days uh, exactly what tim just said is what we've been watching yeah same shows a great show especially designated survivor I, I i just i dream that that happens to us now and we can start all over again with keith sutherland yeah well you know what it is i i said that they've taken the keith or Su keith or sutherland character and made him the antithesis of trump He's yep. all the things you wish we had as a president right now, mm -hmm. you know. And we need it. We it, we're in that like all right. The the Capitol building is still in place, but uh, we need that kind of help in this in this. You, uh, you know who comes off like him now? Who? Adam Schiff. A little bit. Who? 
Adam Schiff. He's the Democrat on the one uh, investigative committee. I don't know. I, I'm not I'm familiar, not familiar, I'm not familiar, with, familiar him. with him. He's very outspoken all the time about who they're going to interview. He, he was on the panel with Nunes. So he had to quit. Yeah. Nunes yeah. is the guy that ran into Trump with the information right. saying that uh, right. I think he wasn't under investigation or something. And, but he was on the same congressional panel as Schiff. It was yeah. Schiff and Nunes. He, he's, he covers the North Hollywood and Hollywood area. My friend lives in North Hollywood and he's his congressman. Let me see here if we but can. Just don't forget the real designated survivor. That would be what's his name from Detroit, the uh, right. uh, head of HUD or whatever now. Yeah, but but we if Jack is about is try, Jack Bishop Bishop is about to join us. But uh, here, tell you about that uh, here, here comes his camera. There we go, and we got hey. and we got everybody in the frame at the same time. Son of a bitch. You know Jeff and I. We have, by the way, let me say that there are eleven now. With mm -hmm. with Jack, so we can always accommodate up to twenty five people, but please don't ever let that happen. I couldn't I couldn't handle it. Oh, you could handle it. No, be like Congress. <laughs> By the way, next get, month I need you to do my I need you to do uh, Jack. Can rock a baseball cap like you're doing can handle twenty five. Jack, Jack, next month, uh, uh, 18th of September, I need you to do my show again. I'm going up to Vermont. Okay. Oh, are you going? Oh, oh, you going to Vermont? Yes, yes. But would you uh, would you do my uh, show for me again? Sure, I'll, I'll do it. Is uh, is uh, your she who must be obeyed demanding this? No, we we go up there and we uh, have a very nice time. It's lovely. I would love to move to. Ver it's Burlington, Vermont. I would love to live in Burlington, Vermont. It's well, wonderful so up wife. there. I just wanted to say that uh, Jeff Stein and I must be brothers separated at birth <laughs> because uh wheeler dealers is the greatest thing on television Absolutely. and uh jeff would you would you send one of those car shows like you know um uh what's that what's that new one uh speed is the new black or uh, uh restoration garage would you send them a letter that's that says I know this poor old man who's had heart surgery, <laughs> <laughs> who's got a Triumph stag <laughs> that he's had for 15 fucking years. <laughs> That's right. And he'd just like to drive it once before. Once more time. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. You've had this car for 15 years, and somehow you haven't even taught yourself enough about fixing cars to do it yourself? Oh, oh hell no. <laughs> it's too hot oh, in hey. Texas to do that. Oh, listen, we, your we, son -in -law I, I was on a, I was on a, I was on a quest here to find out what shows people watch on television, and I don't think I've ever asked Patrick, "What are you watching these days?" Oh, Designated Survivor is a big one, um, and then I've been watching reruns of NCIS, yeah, and IPD Blue. And I also watch uh, actually it's such as uh, uh, Trump got an office. I started rewatching The West Wing. Oh, okay. So you watch yeah, so, you're watching a lot of old stuff, is what you're watching. Yeah, yeah. Except Designated Driver, I like that. Oh, and I watch uh, Quantico. Okay. But I'm not sure where they can go with that anymore. You ju you're just hot for her, right? Well. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't even know what the show is about, but you know. That's right. <laughs> no, they say they say in India they said she was the most beautiful woman in the world, uh, and I don't know if that's true, but she's certainly gorgeous. You oh, know. absolutely. She's amazing. Um, but you know, it's interesting. We've had Designated Survivor mentioned many times here. Do you watch Designated Survivor at all? Uh, Phil? Uh, no. Um, I've been watching a lot of Netflix series stuff. Uh, I, I like that uh, comedy one um, uh, that's on uh, Netflix. Uh, they, there's like six episodes already. Uh, the Goldies, you know, uh, uh, what the hell is the name of that one? Glow? No. The, 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 uh, the comedians from the 70s, uh, they're in L.A. They're, uh, oh, Showtime. Oh, no, no, you're talking about Showtime, and you're talking about I'm Dying Up Here. 
Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's a great show. It's a very good show. Uh, As somebody who worked in that field, I can say that it 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 it's very realistic. Yeah. You know, Um, and uh, they're employing a lot of comedians on that show too, which is also what I like to play the play the roles. Uh, yeah. but, but it's supposed to be like about mitz- it kind of a, a, a what do they call it? Romana Clef, they call those things to uh, Mitzi Shore and the uh, comedy yeah. store down in L.A. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's uh, it's I think a very good show. Yes, Jeff. My other one is uh, just just call Saul. Oh, oh better yeah. call Saul. Yeah, absolutely. Saul. Yeah. yeah. I think that's, that's terrific. Trump should call. And <laughs> after, 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 after I watched did. Better Call Saul, I liked it so much. Then I watched Breaking Bad, and I realized how great that was. Oh yeah, Breaking yeah. Bad was. You know, what we did with Breaking Bad is we binge watched all sixty five episodes or sixty three episodes, and we and we made it so that we got right up to the day that the final episode was going to run on. Uh, uh, on on uh, what do you call it? The uh, network, is it a- a- AMC. Or eight? What, what, what? AMC. AMC. And uh, which used to stand for American Movie yeah. Classics. And we did. We literally spent two weeks watching that whole series, and we mm-hmm. got to like the one before the night that was going to go on, uh, the final episode. And then we sat and watched the final episode. And the thing that fucked us up was every episode we had watched up until then, there were no commercials because the commercials yeah. had been, you know, left <laughs> out, right? All yeah. of a sudden, we're watching the final episode, and there are commercials. And we actually had to go back and watch a pirated copy of it that had no commercials in it so we could feel comfortable with it. <laughs> I mean, like, I subscribe to Hulu now and pay an extra three bucks a month, four bucks a month, so I don't get commercials in the shows. Do- now Hulu has got a deal right now uh, that they compete with Sling, uh, where you get uh, 50 stations and 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 so forth. Right now they have a free trial. I haven't signed up for it yet. Well, they also uh, have it. They thinking, also you also uh, can subscribe to a DVR service, yeah, so well, that you, can you rec- get the local stations and you know yeah. all your normal TV uh, like you yeah. would get with Sling. And I'm just yeah. uh, thinking that maybe it's a little stronger uh, right, right now, uh, the, selection of things. Right, right now, the reason I use uh, Hulu uh, this way is because all the shows I watch have no commercials in them. Uh, mm. You pay about four bucks extra, and it runs without commercials. And quite frankly, I'm so used to watching shows without commercials now. You know, when I used to download them illegally off the internet, which is a terrible mm. thing for you to do. Uh, I, 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 that's the way I was used I, to watching it. Slapback. What? Who? You got some slapback. Yeah, who knows what that is now? I'm getting it because there are too many people here. Yes, Jason. I was just going to say uh, AT&T with their DirecTV Now app, they're going to be having uh, a DVR service, I think, by this fall. Yeah. So uh, all of these things are going to uh, – these are all going to give regular television a run for their money because you'll be able to uh, cut and paste, you know. And and, and uh, uh, the idea that you can like record your newscast or record something a sports event or something like that, and have it on the cloud and just watch it on on your machine is it's great it's terrific. And uh, let's see here, anybody else? That I didn't. Uh, what are you watching quickly? Uh, 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 let me see here, uh, <laughs> Tony. Oh, yeah. I'm watching the Americans. I finished Iron Fist. And I like to watch like documentaries, like you, Alex. I was just watching one down in uh, New York. Yeah, I by watched. Ken Burns. It's good. Yeah, I watched Iron Fist. Of the Marvel stuff they're doing on Netflix, that was not. It was probably the worst of it. It was a little weird. Yeah, the characters were over the top. I thought. Yeah. Like how they were acting and all kind of. Cheesy. But I love Luke Cage. Yeah, I didn't see that. That's yet. a great yeah, series. It. Yeah, that's but I like true. the do- I like to love to watch documentaries. I'm and what's like, the one uh, about the woman? J J J J. Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. Love that show too. Yeah, I did. Uh, anytime you can make uh, Doctor Who a bad guy, I'm very happy. Oh, he was, you're right, he was so oh. good. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, he was uh, good. So, anyway, uh, yes, uh, Mike. Doctor Who, so I'm talking about Doctor Who. They're going to have a, uh, a thing going on BBC America with all the doctors called a Christmas Doctor or a Doctor Who special. Okay. Maybe, and uh, Real Deal, yeah, that is a great show. And the car auction also. 
They have yeah. the big one. And now finally, finally, we're going to have a, we're going to have a female Doctor Who, which they've been getting us ready for all season long because they've had a former ma- master, Missy, uh, who was a, a a Time Lord as well. So we're we're used to a female Time Lord already. And if if none of you know what I'm talking about, so what? I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, anybody here? How many here watch Doctor Who? Quickly, raise of hands. Uh, well, I guess it's just Jack and me. <laughs> you know. And me. I, oh, and you. Okay, I didn't see your hand up there, but I guess it Get was. Get your glasses on. <laughs> hey, listen. Thank you, boy. This is we got uh, we got uh, ten people plus me. That's eleven, uh, and with very little cl- uh, cluster fucking. Uh, Mike, thank you. Rob, always thank you. Jeff, thank you. Love having you here. Anthony, thank you. Tim, always nice for your little additions to the show. Phil, thank you. Jason, we get you every two weeks, and we wait on bated breath for it. Either that or for your wife to leave town. And uh, (laughs) Brian, thank you. Uh, Patrick, as always, wonderful. And, of course, Jack Bishop, we just had to leave because he's got to go do the show after us. Everybody, uh, why don't you wave goodbye? And I'll say Goodbye. thank you so Goodbye. much for being with us tonight. Bye bye. Okay, that's our. Uh, uh, they are all. They're all signing off. And I hope they all go over and uh, and and deal with uh, the uh, ex- uh, the intersection, which is next. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me just uh, get, turn that off and turn that uh, right and uh, get this up and uh, say to you the Jack Bishop and. Uh, Amy uh, Manuel are next with the intersection, followed by Connections at 1 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. I'm Alex Bennett. We'll be back here again come next Tuesday. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? 